Good morning, everyone. I'll just wait for Facebook to catch up and unsync our, <laughs> unsync our audio because it's only synced at the beginning and then it trips itself up. So we're on our way into Melbourne. We've been advised of a possible couple of delays. <laughs> Thank so, you, Extinction Rebellion. Yes. <laughs> Seems like Extinction Rebellion have um, shut down Flinders Street. Oh boy, oh joy. Oh joy. So this could be fun. Anyway, so we're on our way in now. Um, and so hopefully we will be there at 11.30 to meet people. Um, for the event to start at 12 at 4, Ple 4 Treasury Place, adjacent to the Treasury Gardens. So... Um, Hi, say, everyone. Hang on. Good morning, Amanda. Hi, everyone. <laughs> so here we go. And um, Kathy says. Jumping in the back. Yeah, hang on. <laughs> hang on, hang on. Oh. Kathy says hello. Have a fun day. We Hi, hope to. Okay. So, and I believe. Hang on. Where is he? Duncan's in the back there. <laughs> so we're. Um, here we go. So. Yeah, let's drive. Okay. Oh, this is good, this is. I can film and drive. <laughs> I'm not driving, yay! I want a thing that I can put up, like dash cam, so I can film driving, you know what I mean? Oh. Both had very little sleep. <laughs> oh, well, I didn't do too bad. And Not that, two hours, that what did you get? <laughs> Oh, about four, till your cat jumped on me. <laughs> but then that was okay, and then I set up and had a fag, and then... I laid back down again and didn't want to wake up again. <laughs> um, my alarm went off at 8.30, so I got decent sleep this time. Yeah, lucky you. I want your lounge. Can I take your lounge home? Mm -mm. <laughs> Her lounge not. is so comfortable. So Stella Bell says, good morning. I'll be there, but I'm unwell this morning. Good luck with it, uh, with you in spirit. Okay. Okay, Stella. No worries. So we're just... Oh, no. I'm just doing Let's Drive Melbourne. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea where I am. Many moons since I've been to Melbourne and actually driven in the suburbs. In fact, I was a kid when the last time I was in the suburbs. Who wants to hear about my fishing story at Altona? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Altona is a few suburbs in front of us. Now, there was a lake out there called Cherry Lake. Yes, And my Cherry parents, lake. we were all finished our holiday. The car was packed, ready to go. And I went down to the Cherry Lake to say goodbye to the friends that I'd made from this area. You know what I mean? And we were mucking around. This is the 80s, okay? So jeans were different colours, like hot pink, lime green, pale yellow. Do you remember those pastels and things? I had a hot pair, hot pink pair of jeans on, and I tried jumping over a little creek and landed in the black mud right up to my knees. <laughs> my That's what happens at Cherry Lake. <laughs> Everyone falls in a my mess. mother was not impressed. Oh, did I stink? <laughs> I got back. She goes, "What?" <laughs> Uh, dear, they were just waiting for me to come back to drive back to Adelaide, and it's like, oh my god, look at you, covered in black mud. Yeah, cherry lakes, no, but it's, just out of a swamp. it's a swamp, yeah. But I was a tomboy. I was into everything. You drive past them in my home. They've got lots of um, ducks there now, including my duck that took off from my backyard in Altona <laughs> and ended up there, which we couldn't catch. We tried for like two weeks to catch her. Kelly Marie says she'll try and get there if she can. Depends on how the surgery goes. Okay. And good luck with the surgery today, Kelly. Um, Stella Thanks, says... Partner. Okay. Uh, Stella, Stella Bell says, yep, good old Sherry Lake. Yeah. <laughs> but that's memories from my childhood. Long... Well, well we, can, we can drop back in there if you'd like on the no, way back. I remember the smell. No, thanks. I was 13 the last time I was there. Doesn't smell at all now. They cleaned no, it all. and they have lots of... Um, when I came to my brother's wedding at Werribee Park, it wasn't a zoo. <laughs> it was a, it was a flash place to get married at. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, my, I'll One say, of my, my favourite beaches is Werribee South Beach. My brother it's not was a in, beach like you call a beach in Queensland, but it's just this lovely little pocket of, of sand and you know the hardest thing I had to get used to coming to Melbourne was I come from the big north coast New South Wales it's more <coughs> environment where you have these beautiful 90 mile beaches down to these tiny little strips of a beach strips of a thing that they call a beach it's like, <laughs> no that's not a beach <laughs> you've actually got to go down the ocean road to find real beach it's a good spot though I love Melbourne it's home 
think you missed the sea breeze as an alternative. Yeah. So we've got everything. We've got some stickers and some badges, badges and, and shirts and, banner and some and banners. Uh, extra banners in case somebody wants to We've got to hold heaps of signs people can hold. All right. So if you haven't got a sign, don't fret. You can just delve into my big black suitcase and you can hold one up. Um, yep. We've got leaflets and I haven't written a speech, so you're going to get whatever comes out of my gob at the time. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. we got, we got uh, sort of things down, but we were sort of relying on the speech from Canberra, the last bit of the speech from Canberra. We can't find it. I don't know where I did. What, and it what was I too did. late. It's like one o'clock in the morning by the time. It's like I wasn't ready to write yeah. speeches at one no. in the morning. So, yeah. Um, we had good pizza. Yeah, we had good pizza for dinner, and uh, and your cat's adorable. Yeah. Um, jumps on your chest and puts her ass in your face. And yes, that's what she did to me at 10 to 5 this morning. <laughs> She's got atomic farts, my cat. <laughs> I know. Yeah. She's, she's, yeah. Um, she, sorry, darling. She's my baby, though. Here's that Victorian driver again. Oh, <laughs> Rackoff, I got you around Canberra oh, as I'm well. I'm joking. Yeah, yeah, you did. So... I'm joking. <laughs> um, I'm a good driver. Can drive. Round is the only way you can drive. <laughs> around and around and around we go. Unlike Canberra, distances here are quite long. Yeah. So Canberra, you go to the airport and everything's within 15 minutes. I'm just looking at the comments here. Are you well, laughing at me, people? No. I you are. No, 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 no. <laughs> um, so, St Mary Maxfield says, Stella Bell, hey, I live there. It's amazing if you have to live in the city, three kilometres of beachfront, no high rise and no highway. That's... But only three kilometres of beach. Oh my God. If I drive over to Harvey Bay, the beach just goes yeah, all miles. the way down there and around there. Yeah, it's different. No, a different place. Different. Um, so I suppose yeah, I'd better, better let you guys go. And um, for those of you coming in to catch up with us, we'll see you there. And uh, yeah. Oh, what a day. Here we go again. Here we go again. This is... <laughs> third time round this week for me so I've never done so many events in one week I haven't you have a good rest next week yeah I will I'll be asleep next week <laughs> uh, oh saw the video Catherine uh, Kathy Kathy yes um, oh Scummo says thanks for my shirt <laughs> <laughs> no worries that's not a problem um, yeah, I do wonder how many, how many COVID socks were spent buying shirts and protest material. <laughs> oh, apparently ScoMo is in Melbourne at the moment. Yeah, and Freud as well. I call him Freud. Freud. Um, Freudenberg. <laughs> Freudenberg, Freud. They were at the MCG last night. Oh, they, went, that they went to the, to the MCG are banned on Intu cards. Did anyone know that? Yeah. We did. <laughs> yeah, tickets to the MCG are banned you on the Intu cards. So you can't yeah. go to the footy or the cricket. Or on anything like that, card, if you're yeah. on a cashless debit card. Keeping the riffraff away yeah, from the Yeah, you've got to tops. keep the poor away from all the social events and yeah. all the community events and MCG everything. MCG is actually a banned merch, and if you go look on yeah. the Indu site, look at banned venues, it's one of them. MCG so. is a banned merch. And it has been since 2016, even though Melbourne wasn't a rollout zone. That's right. So, yeah, a lot of venues jumped on board and put their names up for absolutely no way to keep the riffraff out. <laughs> and that this is another form of apartheid. That's how they legally block you from coming in the door, not just buying yep. things in their store, coming in the door. Belinda yeah. says it's cashless at the footy bed, but you can't get in if you've got an Indu cashless debit card because it's banned. Yeah. So your card, if you want a cashless debit card, it won't work. It won't work. So you to can't. Pay for your you can't pay for your ticket to go to the footy or you the cricket. You can do it out of your twenty percent. Oh, what do you do? You know, 20%. but it's like most people are using their twenty percent to pay for their kids' school needs and That's things. That's right. So, yeah, but you know, there's nothing better than homegrown. What am I sitting anyway. behind? Oh, Jim's fencing, he's got a load of rubbish on. Ew, don't, let's not look at the rubbish, let's see what else we can look at. No, it's pretty nothing barren out here, out here unfortunately. Roadworks, here. roadworks, um, lots of roadworks in Melbourne. So, I'm just trying to figure out how we're going to get past extinction. <laughs> I don't know. We'll go we'll go North Melbourne. North Melbourne. Okay. okay, so Extinction Melbourne have... We'll get there. They've just... parked a bloody truck in the middle of Flinders Street. I'm absolutely, absolutely for Extinction Rebellion, but not today. Not today. <laughs> not today we need access. Oh, well. But, you know, 
good. Disrupt. Anything they can do to disrupt, I suppose. Oh, well. Good. We were talking about protest venues in um, in Melbourne, and that Flinders huh. Street Crossway oh is one God. of the Oh, my God. Point ones. Cook. So, my brother's ex-wife... She was in the RAF at Point Cook, and my brother was in the RAF at Laverton. The, the RAF isn't here anymore. They moved over to South Australia. Most of it is oh, just okay. in now. Oh, okay. Almost all Air Force in Australia is now in South Australia. Because a few uh, Edinburgh? Is that all? Pardon? At Edinburgh? Most oh. of it moved over. All the all the heavy stuff moved over. And you've got Amberley in Brisbane still. Ha! Pilot scheme with the politicians. Pensions at the same rates as ours. Yeah, it should be. They should Why be. Should they get any more than Why us? should they be millionaires? All right, but why should they have so much more? You know, they should have the same flat rate of Australian pension as anybody else. That's right. Well, they have their super, but they get fifteen percent. If anyone was listening to Maurice Payne yesterday, it was really, really clear that they've set them up as like little monarchy they've set the liberal party have set them up as a monarchy yeah it's like the right to protest which is demanded by the people is now a bestowed privilege that government is providing them yes, you know? sir, sir. that's what she actually that's <laughs> actually what she basically i've got it on twitter and i responded to it and went nah lady i'm sorry you know they're yeah. civil servants and this is it but which, that, which party, which politicians serve you? So what they're wanting, That's what, you're looking for. what they're wanting is they want to be the lords and the dames, yeah. like Abbott had, right? Yeah. And they want your the LMP um, reference committees to be the nobles. Well, Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, well, this is the difference. What we have to actually describe to people, like when we talk about community services that are shafted card holders. We're not talking about, you know, your regular services that you would normally go to. We're talking about these ones that have been created since the card came about. That under legislation, the minister is allowed to call a community body. Yeah. And, like, they are stacked full of NLP members. They've got nothing to do with community services. And all they have to do is make the claim in their mission statement that they're there to help people on welfare. Yeah. And, if they, and this is it. They're not actual community services like the regular ones you go to for support. These are completely different, you know, different bodies. They're community bodies under the legislation. So when we have a go or a dig at community services, that's what we're having a go at. NLP stacked reference groups and things posing as community services who do absolutely squat for people on the ground. Yep. You know, so um, we will be addressing the issue of community services. We have to. We absolutely have to. Um, because too many people are being shafted. And uh, community bodies is the other thing I'll be addressing soon as well on page. Marie Maxfield says, enjoy the view from the Westgate Bridge. Okay. Yeah, oh, yeah, it's, it's quite lovely. We're, oh, not, we're not going over Westgate. We're not going over Westgate. Yeah, we don't yeah. want to go oh, into Flinders Street. We so. don't want to go to Flinders Street because. We could go on the way back. But, um, yeah, we'll probably come over on the way back. But this route in was to go up Old Geelong Road. Oh, okay. Are we going to Footscray? <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, Footscray. <laughs> that was in tandem. Thank you, Cox. Those buildings still Frank there. Frank Bobasa. <laughs> hang on, what is. Hang on. Are oh, we not going to Altona today? No, not to Altona um, today, no. We're going to Treasury Garden Place, which is next to the Parliament building. So, boycott the MCG. Well, we don't need to because we're banned from we're it. We're banned from it anyway. <laughs> Um, but again, if, if, if this program is allowed to go national, that's a hell of a lot of people that won't make it to the hill for the cricket. Yep. You know? Um, you know yeah, but if they take it across course, the board, you know? if they take it across the board, can you man imagine how many AFL clubs will lose their memberships? Because a lot of people are on casual work and casual workers but I've have got friends of mine. Ups, so I've got friends of mine that are on DSP. Right, that they renew their footy membership every year because they and they go to the footy yeah. because that's their only thing that they do, and they love their footy club. You know what I mean? And Melbourne is obsessed with footy. Uh, when so I moved down like, here, it was the strangest thing. Like for me, coming from Queensland at the time, it was like, ew, <laughs> that and the gas thing. Everyone uses gas here. Like, <coughs> oh shit, no, oh, did I have to do this? 
Mm-hmm. It didn't matter whether you were the pauper or the king. Yeah, the sports are supposed to be for everybody, not just for people with money. But this is, when we're talking about apartheid, like this is the applied result of it, is that you've got yeah. this rich and poor. Um, well, know, it's and social it's apartheid, financial apartheid. It's definitive legislation that actually divides us. Like, you know, it's no, it's no stranger to us that a lot of people involved in this policy are South African. It's like, yeah. That's right. Because they actually know apartheid isn't a colour or even socioeconomic. Apartheid is a power structure. And that's what we're seeing, the, the, the power structure of apartheid yep. coming out now. And this is the first in Australia of the legislated versions of apartheid. Mm -hmm. yeah, even the Northern Territory intervention, which we had to suspend the Racial Discrimination Act to get in, um, it, was a, it, was, you know, it, was, it was targeted, whereas this one is unilateral across the country. Yep. Yikes, I hate Trump. Um yeah, I hate trucks too. Yeah, so, you know, this is, it's a big worry. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Well, it's kind of fine, the haves and the have-nots. And it's, just, and it's, it's all haves and versus have-nots, mm -hmm. you know? Um, yeah, but it's also deciding who's going to be... The intervention was a crime. Don't get me wrong, I'm not negating or limiting the impact of that. It was absolutely atrocious crime. But it's and also... Another crime, but NLP lie. It's also dictating who's going to be a have and a have-not. Mm -hmm. And given that they lock you in to this entrenched poverty cycle and block all the all the avenues for actually, you know, advancing in society that, you, you know, the independence of a free payment allowed you to still, um, you know, to advance in society if you wanted to, run your own business. This truck doesn't know his own lane. Um, but, yeah, so, you know, they're actually keeping you in the have-nots. Yeah, it takes away the flexibility that you have pull yourself up by your bootstraps. Yeah, they, they take away the bootstraps and then say, pull yourself up by your bootstraps. Yeah, but they've taken your shoes away as well. <laughs> um, so Stella Bell says people should write to the AFL, tell them they won't support this racist, ableist scam of the card. Absolutely. I, um, the AFL, uh, the, the cricket clubs themselves, um, you know, like we've got lots of letter writers, you know, especially in Tasmania. Thank you very much, Tasmania, it's for stepping AFL up. you want to write to, it's the MCC. Yeah, the yeah. MCC. The MCC own the MCC. And they're the one who will be losing it's the money. Inform and educate the AFL about what's going on and how their members are being, you know, how their members are being ripped off and stopped from coming, you know. But like, they're not in Melbourne yet because we're not a rollout zone, you know. And I hate that word yet, you know. Yet means you're eligible too. Yeah. And this is it. Where am I going from here? Straight ahead. Okay. Alright, well, guys, I might get off. Um, We've got to find so, our way, so it's not very scenic from there. It's not very scenic. So, Marie says, I'm a carer, it's not a lifestyle choice, and it happens in an instant. It can happen to anyone. A society is judged on how the fortunate treat those less fortunate. Well, as a carer, you're literally working for two dollars an hour. Yep, Gina, you're Gina Reinhardt's poster child. Yeah, that's what she wants. She wants everyone in Australia working for no contracts, you know, wait, no, no contracts, uh, zero hour contracts which basically mean everyone ends up on $2 an hour. Yeah. Um, but as a carer, you're saving the government $78 billion a year, okay? And somebody in your position as a paid worker, all right, wouldn't, you know, wouldn't, would get, you know, a standard oh, wage. Oh, anywhere between and 35 and $95 an hour, depending on when they're working. Yeah. And so, you know, the government has no right. Putting carers on cards is just, you know, we have a lot of carers on page and, and having, been with my son for the for the years that he's been in treatment I know the exhaustion levels and can really relate and it made me so angry you know um, but yeah I gave up trying for a carer application because I just yeah, it was just so complicated and when you do finally get it they shove it on an injury card it's like god oh, it's insult after injury all right guys yeah, well we'll leave you be and we'll stop distracting I'm being good. I'm yeah, I know you. You're well. doing really well. You're doing good. <laughs> I haven't killed us don't... yet. <laughs> anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. See Bye ya. Bye, guys.